First, let's get something out of the way. A lot of features that I will show you in Dolphin. I know that some exist in fi other file managers, but only Dolphin has so many features in one place. So let me get started. This is my, let's say, modified configuration. You can go and see how I configure my Dolphin at this timestamp. So why is Dolphin so great? Well, let's start from the obvious things. Here on this size, you can have places which are basically bookmarks for the folders you want to add. By default with F9, you can show and hide that part. And with F7, you can have your home folder here shown. You can also show and hide stuff from here, but it's not straightforward as it should be. So as you can see, I have here some different sections. And to hide, for instance, recent, I just go to hide section recent. And if you get this recent hidden or remote hidden or whatever, you right click on the empty space and you click on show all entries. And if you go, for instance, I want to disable a remote, I can just go to hide section remote. If somewhere down the line I change my mind and I want those sections shown, I have to right click on the empty space, show all entries, and then unhide the section that I want to see, and then again click show all entries. Which for me is a terrible solution. I don't know why they couldn't just add here which sections you see and which don't. But hey, that's KD. They always miss some basic stuff. This part is info about file or folder, whatever you have selected in this center part. And you can show it or, or hide it with F11 by default, of course. And you can configure it here. You basically choose what you want to have and what not. I covered that part in my how I configure my dolphin. And the great thing about it is, for instance, I have this picture selected and I can see info for, from that picture. But if I want to show the info of another file, I just have to hover it. I don't have to click it. So this way you can go through multiple files and see their info. And then you have this toolbar here. This arrow is for when you want to go to the place where you were before this one. And if you long press it, you can see the history of all folders where you were. And this resets when you close the Dolphin. As you can see now that I start it again, it will automatically open in my home folder and there is no history if I long press it or anything else. So if you go back to one folder, you can also go forward to other folder. This is pretty useful if you use, for instance, two folders a lot, you can just switch between them and be quickly from one place to another. And this arrow will always go into the parent uh, folder of that subfolder, no matter where you are. Here you can have different views, and I like to display the size of the folder. By default, it will just tell you the number of items that is shown. You can also have a button to show hidden files or just press Ctrl H to turn that on and off. Here you can choose between if you want to have a complete path in your location bar or not. I usually put it like this. And the nice thing is here, let's say I'm in pictures and I want to copy that location and just click on uh, that location bar and it will uh, automatically give me the possibility to copy the path. And I can edit this as much as I want. And when I'm happy with it, I just click on this check mark and it will go back to this style. And this style is great because as you can see, I have here the full path of my folder. But to go back to, uh, for instance, home, I can just click on home and I don't have to click here. And I use this a lot because when I'm in folders that are not in my uh, bookmarks folders, it's easier for me to navigate. To add a bookmark to your places folder, you just right click on the folder and add to places. And it will show here and here you can just move it where, wherever you want. To rename a file or folder, you just need to click on the name 
and then you can rename it. Or you can just press F2 and you will get the possibility to edit the name. You can also, for instance, if you want to put something as a wallpaper, you can right click, set as a desktop wallpaper, lock screen or both. This is very nice. And another nice feature is that, for instance, in your bookmarks, you can middle click on your bookmark and it will open that folder in a new tab. And you can also middle click uh, on the tab and it will close it. Speaking of tabs, let's say you have here split mode and then you open another folder and another folder, then you split it. As you can see here in the name of the tab, it will write the name of all the folders that are in the split view or if it's only single view. And this is a nice touch that they added very late. I think it was version 5 something. But now it's here and it's nice. Also, F3 will sp uh, split the tabs and you can press F3 to close it or you can just press here close. Also, if you are in split mode, you can use tab to switch between panes. You can also uh, move the split wherever you want, but just mind that uh, here in the location bar, the full path may not be visible. And the most important thing that I think every file manager should have by default is this one. If you, for instance, drag files to the other side, by default, it gives you this menu to move or copy or create shortcut. And this is one of the best features in Dolphin that I always forget that only is, exists in Dolphin. I cannot explain you enough how much I miss this feature if I use, for instance, Tunar or Windows Explorer. This is something that Windows should actually copy from KDE. Tunar has uh, the similar feature, but I think you have to press Alt or Control to have it. But if it's not done by default, I will forget to press the modifier key just to do it. Also, if you press space in a folder, you will enter in so-called selection mode and you can select files and folders and decide what to do with them. And here are the options. I don't really use this feature because uh, you can do the same thing if you press control and then just uh, select files you want. But it's nice is, for instance, if you want to show only certain fo photos to people and then not everything and this is how you just select what you want and show. Also, a nice feature in Dolphin is that you can automatically copy photos from the internet to Dolphin. So if I, for instance, go to this wallpaper, I can just drag and drop this photo. And here I will automatically have that wallpaper. And if you go to info, you will see that it's not just this little picture, but the actual picture. This is pretty useful if you are searching for new wallpapers and just want to quickly add what you like. But be careful. You have to copy this photo and not uh, just this one, because then it will just copy this thumbnail and not the actual wallpaper. Also, another useful feature is search. And for instance, uh, I want to search for something. You can define here which type, date, don't use these. But what is different from the other file managers is that you can save the search and it will show up here on the sidebar. And if you are searching for something very often, so if I, for instance, am in downloads and I want to find the PNG in pictures, I can just press this search and it will do exactly that. This is very useful if you are searching in particular folder always for the same thing to have it saved. If you are in details view, you can also select which columns you want to show and you have a really lot of options but I like to keep it simple. Size and date is all I need. You can also preview videos in this info tab. This is especially useful if you want to quickly scrub through your footage without the need to open your media player, then close, then open, then close. This is very nice. Also, you can check checksums inside of Dolphin. For instance, you downloaded an ISO image from the internet. You want to check if the checksum is okay. 
then you go to file right click properties checksum you choose the hash uh, that you want to compare it with we'll paste here calculate as you can see this is sha 256 for the live workstation iso which is exactly what i have and when the checksum is calculated here it will tell you if the hash is match or not this is a very quick way to check your hash and of course a built-in terminal if you press f4 or you get this button out you can get a terminal in your dolphin for this to appear you have to have console installed and it's also great if you change folders the folders will also change in terminal this can be used if you need terminal just for a second for to run a script or something and you don't plan to work on it the whole time for instance if you want to clone some github repository you can just go copy choose the folder where you want to download that repository and just clone it and then you just close the terminal and get on with your business i'm showing this on kd plasma version 6.1.4 just so you know that if you have some other version things might not be exactly the same so how i configure it I go to these three little dashes, then configure. And first thing that I change on Plasma 6 is shortcut for create folder. I don't know whose bright idea was this to put Ctrl Shift N and change the default F10 that was there for ages. But that person should be banned from making decisions. You don't mess with long-term defaults. I realize that you want to be exactly like Windows, but please. Yeah, for those who don't know, Ctrl Shift N is shortcut in File Explorer in Windows. Then you can go and configure toolbars. I remove this one and add show hidden files to the toolbar just so I know if it's turned on or turned off. And it will show here. And to get rid of the show hidden files text, you can just go change text and click on hide text when toolbar shows text alongside icons and when you click apply there won't be any text the next thing i add is this terminal icon and the same thing change text hide text apply and now it's here and now the options that i change in dolphin itself the thing that i turn on is show full, full path in the title bar this will be here i'll leave this option as it is definitely switch between views with tab key and i turn this off what this does if it's turned on if you can see this is the active window you can see that this is a uh, white and this is a little gray and that's how you know which is the active side and i don't want when i press f3 for this to be closed i want this side to be closed but by default it will close the active window i don't know how that makes sense but that is the option that i don't know the next on preview i don't change anything here here i change this option to open in application this is good for app images and i switch to condensed date this is just so i have a shorter date here and here i change show full path inside the location bar this is the bar here and i click it now it's just say pictures and now it's the full path and that's the way i prefer it and under view i leave display style here just because i don't want dot directory hidden file to show up in my directory then open archives as folder that is so you can open for instance zip file inside the dolphin just like another folder also you can um, define what the double cl click inside your uh, folder triggers for instance if i double click here on my home folder it will select all the files you can define what double click uh, triggers as you can see there are a lot of options here i leave it at the select all under content display i change folder size to show size of content and i switch the date to show the actual date and not this nonsense and permission style i leave it as it is i like this way icons i don't touch anything here because icons you can change here so it doesn't matter i don't use this view and under details i leave 
value everything as it is. Now the contents menu. Contents menu is the this menu. When you right click on file or folder, you will get depending on what you opened different options. So here I turn on copy or move two commands. I switch this one off, this one off, and definitely turn this one on. This is basically shift delete function, so it won't delete stuff to your trash, but it will automatically delete them completely. This is a nice feature. You can have remote documents and locations and you can just decide if you don't want to be shown in a recent. I don't use activities so I turn this off. I turn this off. I don't need this one. I don't need share. Don't need this option. Definitely don't use text. Also in context menu you can download new stuff. I don't know why but this happens to me all the time in KDE, whether I want to install a new theme, a new wallpaper or plugin, most of the time this is completely useless to me. I put to empty the trash every three days if I even put something there. And then there is another thing that I change and that is when you press F11 by default, you'll get a little info about the file you have. So to change this, just right click and configure. And I turn this, these three options and turn on these three options. I don't know why defaults are so bad because wh why do I need the rating for? And I click save. And that's pretty much how I configure my dolphin. And of course, I make sure that QAdmin is installed just so I can do stuff in dolphin as an administrator. And after all these nice features, they had to go and beep on the whole program with telemetry. I mean, KD developers, you don't have to copy everything from Microsoft. And that's pretty much all how I configure my Dolphin. And if you don't want to have your menu here with these three da dashes, you can just go to more, show menu bar with all actions, and it will be here. But once I set it up, I really don't touch options that much, so I just leave it here. And there are other options in Dolphin that you can do, but these are the ones that I use the most, and I probably forgot something. But if you have another other useful function that you use Dolphin for, you can tell me down in the comments. And that's all.